Is it a coincidence that I did a toy uh, to hobby grade conversion of my prop ski in the last few videos and then I find that Kyosho has the Wave Chopper 2.0? Yes, it's because somebody commented, did you check out the new Kyosho Wave Chopper 2.0? I'm like, there was a Wave Chopper 1.0? I didn't even know that. Look at this. I got it all turned around here. This is the Wave Chopper right here. One six scale radio control electric personal watercraft, electric powered personal watercraft. That's a lot to say. Insane. So 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Look at this. This was a little disappointing, but easy for everyone to use. 7.2 volt, 2200 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery, which means eh, it'll, it'll go for a while, but it's not going to have tons of power. A USB charger so you can easily plug it in. I was like, what? This is going to be an insane platform. The driver, the helmet, everything looks like a full size. Like it's about as scale as it, as it gets, except for having a prop. You can see it's a new redesigned rudder, it says on the back. So apparently they've had this out. I've just missed it. 2.0, modern technology. It's got a waterproof servo in there. You look over, it's got a 14 turn, I think. I'm going to have to guess on that one because it says G14L. It may not be 14 turn, but it's brushed. Water-cooled 550 can. A pretty straightforward uh, hobby, um, or pardon me, not a hobby wing. It's a Kyosho branded ESC. And a kick-up rudder that protects the rudder. Now, this is something that I like. You hit something and it kind of kicks up out of the way. You're still able to maneuver back to where you are. And optimum angle for the stern tube along the bottom Resist, reduces drive resistance. So I'm interested to see this hopping across the water. Uh, I know other people were interested in this as well. That's why I brought it in. In fact, I wanted to have a couple of these around here uh, so we could have some races, but I only got one of them in. So we're gonna have a look at this one instead for today. Okay, wave chopper. <laughs> the driver looks like he's about to take a shit. Oh yeah, look at that. Now, immediately, it's not as large as the prop ski I have, but this is definitely a decent little size. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, don't worry, and let me get all this stuff out of the box first. Here is the radio for it, check this out. There's four batteries in this radio. This steering wheel is slightly more forward and off to the side, and it looks like you've got a, a switch on this side, probably doesn't do anything because when everything is unboxed and put together, bum, 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 look at that. Is that gnarly or what? Comes with its own little boat stand or should, should I say personal watercraft stand. There is the ejection port on the side. There is the very small prop on the bottom. But look at that tube, the way it's angled out. Very straightforward and simple. And here I was thinking that this was a sealed hull because from the videos and stuff I was watching, like everybody does when they buy a new thing they're excited about, they research it. And then when I saw this was lifted, I saw this was all white and I didn't realize in the video, and which I'll point out to you, that there's actually tape along here, waterproof tape. It actually comes with a roll of waterproof tape. So if you want to switch this ESC over to LiPo mode, you can do that because it does support a two cell LiPo. So it, here's the battery that it comes with. This is the reason they send something out like this with, I would, I would assume is because it's safer than a, a, a LiPo. Lithium polymer can be very uh, unstable if not treated properly. And nickel metal hydride, of course, if it's not treated properly is also unstable but way safer than using a lithium polymer so they include this in there so it really is a legitimate ready to run unit uh, right out of the box which is cool and so I'm going to take the tape off and see what's on the inside because I want to be able to put a two cell lipo in there for sure and then go for a rip I took the tape off so this is completely upgradable. Oh my God, it totally is sealed. Well, generally sealed. You see all this, this is all enclosed. Yes, which means we can pretty much do anything with this platform. And yes, it's only plugged in two channels, which means it's not waterproof. Uh, the receiver is not gonna be waterproof and it has just steering and just throttle. But who cares if I switch this jumper over to this side, now it can take LiPo 
and it's going to have forward, brake, and reverse. I don't think I'm going to need a brake on this. I wonder if it can go in reverse. That would be very interesting. All right, let's try this. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm not going to run that too long. Make sure the rudder is working. Uh, we are ready for a test. I know everyone's going to ask this, and I don't want to do this to you, sir, on camera, but you don't mind if I squeeze your chest, do you? <laughs> All of this is actually not hard plastic. It's a soft plastic, so that's very interesting. It may turn out to be more durable in the long run, as I know Kyosho's old stuff was like a very uh, firm plastic, like the surfboard guy, and would break a lot. So hopefully this will actually turn out really good. And because I know people are going to ask to see them side by side, check it out. Overhead view, so nose, and then it's just a little bit smaller. The driver, it looks damn good. I'm ready to go! It's called a wave chopper, but there's not much waves out here, just clouds. If I had as many waves as I did clouds, this would be a good video, I would say. But shall we? Onward and on to the water! You gonna go in after it? <laughs> Did you turn it on? Ah! Ready? Go! Oh! That was way faster than I expected. So 2S LiPo right there. On the prop ski. Wow. That actually is a lot slower than I expected, but what do you think? I can't turn it as fast as I thought I would. Let's get down low. Let's see if I got a dual rate on here. Oh God, I do. please don't splash me. Turning up my, there's no way. <laughs> I like Turning this one already. Turn <laughs> well, the whole reason I got it is A, number one, it's gonna be awesome for Morris to beat around with and have fun. Number two, it's gonna be a great platform. Morris is my son for those that don't know. So something like this on the water is super cool. And then, for budget wise to be able to get onto the water. Look at that. Wow. Prop ski, something easy and simple. I want to get him driving though and get me driving the other one, shall we? Okay, Morris, you got it? Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Good. Here, I'll put mine in there. It's a little... Don't splash me. <laughs> I should have This water is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it is so gross. I wore a brim. Yeah. I was so close to hitting you. Hey, that's okay. I gotta fix him. There we go. His balance is off a little bit there. Thank you, Mr. Max Steele. Yeah. <laughs> So if we're able to upgrade the inside of the, that little machine, it's got tons of possibilities. Look at me! I know! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, ah, like magnets! Try it, try it, it's fun. That shouldn't have died on a on a uh, 5,000 though. There's something up with that. Drawing power too much? I don't know what it was there. Drawing he was power too much? He was cavitating and drawing I don't air. Know what cavitating means. There's no way. 
He's just going to be bunch, bunched around me. But if I can push him to the other side... Yeah, that's what I figured. We'll make him go get it. <laughs> Dad, you gotta going. you gotta swim out there and get it. No. Never do that. It's no, a no, it's a whole idea. horrible idea. Never make him walk around for a boat. Oh, walk around. It, it's just gonna float across. Oh my it's god, fine. It's so far. <laughs> Gosh, that thing's fast. Oh, yeah! Oh, my prop came off! Oh, my prop came off! We're waiting for both of them! <laughs> Call your corner! Family waiting in each corner. Go to your corners, boys! I lost my prop. Now we gotta wait. <laughs> Just another day in the life of RC boating. If you guys wanna check out RC boats, check the links below. See you in the next episode of RC Adventures. We gotta go wait! <laughs> And for all those wondering, check it out. The prop is still there. All it did was become uncoupled from the motor and the rudder saved it from the deep. We get to go boating another day.